This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. Previously on HVACR Survival. We're heading to the airport and we're heading out to California. And we're going to do a transport trailer across the country. So we just got out of the airport. I'm waiting on uh, my guy from NASA to pick me up. The heating cooling units there are underneath the tarp. So obviously it connects to those there. And the returns here with man a reset, circuit breaker, high and low pressure taps. Well guys, that concludes our walk around the town of downtown San Diego. 100 meter motor yacht, 150 million dude. So we're having a few problems here, as you can see. We're like backed up forever to all the way to forever. It looks like they got a got to get over to the right thing up here. I was just take a look at my equipment and see how it's doing. Looks like it's running. Feels like it's running. See our little crisscrossy thing. I'm literally just kind of man. It is cranking the heat out though. It's doing pretty amazing things here I mean look at this view out here I mean it's pretty I've never never been here before we're in Arizona right now all right so we stopped kind of late because we were having problems with that road closure we didn't get as far as we needed to go we can only drive till about 7 at night because of the oversized load but we can start at 4 30 in the morning so we'll drive be back over here at 4 30 5 30 ish area something like that we got a real bad smell of propane which they let anybody refill these so this thing was all the way up to over full it was well over and as you can see now we're at three quarter so what i ended up doing was opening this up like that first try to here obviously it's going to be lower pressure take forever so i went ahead and did it here the check valve in there isn't that great so i was able to blow off quite a bit of it to make it safer what i ended up doing was going and getting a little cone over there, ricocheting it outside of this because, you know, it's just going to float away out here. We got it so it ain't leaking no more because it's leaking out of the side of it. Now it's just a matter of trying to get a hotel, but like I said, we got to be here right away first thing. So it's 8 th 820. We haven't really ate other than crap that we brought with us. You can at least get cleaned up, get a break away from the van, the RV, whatever, and we can continue forward. That's an asteroid or something, comet, whatever. All right, this isn't too bad. They even gave us some Cheez-Its. Got a sink, got a dishwasher, coffee pot, microwave. This is better than the thing we had in San Diego. We're gonna go to sleepy sleep here in a minute because gotta get up early. It's 8.38 right now. Yeah, it's been a long freaking day. We started at, we left at 4.30. Okay, I'm not happy about this crap. Yeah, that's nice. That's great. So that means I've probably got freaking cockroaches in my clothes now. Alright, so we are started for the day and we are on the road right around 6.15. Barrier continues for a while. This is this should be kind of the worst section of it. All right, so we're out here. Just got into Texas a little bit ago, and that lane right there is awfully tight, and we weren't able to fit. Huh. Rick and Air Rick in the house. I got 12 horns, man. Can you put that on YouTube? <laughs> 12 horns? <laughs> We're moving. It's good old Mexico, everybody wants to leave. Mm -hmm. It's got wonderful scents. You don't like it? No, no. We 
are finally to our first stop in Texas. So that's what's going on. All right, let's go in here. Oh, great. It says we're sold out in Kilos. You have a reservation. So are they really sold out? It says on the door they're sold out unless you have a reservation. Yeah. Yeah. Did you not make No. All right. So. Because I didn't know everyone was booking the rooms, the whole hotel sold out. They were nice enough to find me one that they've just remodeled, as you can see on the floor. But it's a place to sleep for a few hours that we'll get. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, so that's what happens. All right, so microphone's on the wrong side, but we've got to get ready here. So it's my turn to go out there. I'm going to grab something to eat real quick. I'm 10 minutes late, but I wanted to eat at least one good meal. A hoagie sandwich from the gas station last night for supper wasn't all that great. People upstairs wouldn't stop walking around. I mean, even at 12.30, they're walking around like they had combat boots on or something. Here we go. Basically, you got the HVAC control over here, which is pretty brain dead. So you can go right in there and you can uh, adjust the temperature alarms and all that. And then you've got the G-Factors over here. And that's basically keeping track of temperature sensors, which we got six of them, or seven of them, and you got relative humidity in there also. It's doing the graph over here. And then there's a data logger inside the machine that's also um, doing its thing. In case, you know, anything bad happens, it'll be noted so you know. So there's the little antennas that they're using. They're doing a bridge from here to up there on the trailer. So all the temperature things come to the back, back here into that little silver box. And then it's bundled up into a network of goodies and shot back here to these. It's got quite a bit of range. You got different jackeries and stuff. ACs have been having issues. Um, this one here, it's only about 14.9 amps. And then the rear one's probably gonna be exactly the same. That's kind of what we're doing, what we got going on. I mean, if the stuff's running, what else do you need to do? It really ain't much. You guys know that. You don't sit around and babysit something. But, you know, it's one of the things where so much money involved, they're going to be precautious. Alright, so finally one of our first potty breaks or whatever. Still in Texas, I believe. Everything's been going pretty good so far. Temperatures are holding pretty decent. Around 71, 62, just to make it run. Humidity levels have stayed good, so we're doing all right. It's not real super hot though yet today either. Hi. Got those in the wings. Okay. Thank you, sir. Happy day. You too. We got uh, six wings and two monsters. Honestly, I'm afraid to eat too much. Might get the old parties. That'd be bad. So, a little bit of wings. Uh, you never know, depending on where we get at, whether or not we're going to have a place to eat something good or if it's just going to be bars and whatever else they can kind of find because it's hit and miss when you're out here in the wilderness. I mean, holy crap. It sounds like they must just have four couple big cities and that's it. Everything else is desolate. We weren't getting a signal for the G to run the fan and so you get a relay states G was inactive. Now it's active. What the shit? Must have had a brain freeze. Oh well, it's gonna work now without without its assistance. So just jumped it from R and G. I wanted to do a restart and that would have fixed it, but oh well. Well, it's finally green here in Texas. We're finally getting back to the promised land. over there. I had one problem earlier. 
um, motor wasn't wanting to run. It said it wasn't giving a signal on the uh, G terminal. Went ahead, just jumped R to G, got it running. But the problem is, when I reset it, freaking started working again. It's not a big deal. I don't know, it's doing the job. It's keeping it down now that the sun's gone down, though. The uh, humidity, or the uh, temperature's dropping pretty quick. Basically making it ride off for a uh, all night. We don't really need to cool that much so yeah. from that standpoint. All right, this isn't too bad, this Holiday Inn Express. It's good enough to sleep and poop in, I guess. So, good enough for tonight. We've got to eat yet, which, and then we got to watch the, uh, the, uh, I like to call it an RTU, but they call it a environmental control unit, an ECU. So, that's what we are doing. We're set at 70. That ain't having a very good day, is it? Clock don't work on a refund. I think he's got problems. All right, here we go. Going down. Oh good. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. It's been a long day. Every day's been a long day. Although I'm not working hard, it's a lot of a lot of setting on your butt. Um, so you know and kind of sitting there looking out the window um, just hoping something maybe goes wrong or maybe not hoping that something goes wrong I don't know for something to do which like I said we have one thermostat acting stupid which I just replaced was already acting up a little too much electronics I think all right so I got me a fajita burrito there to go Kind of a neat looking little restaurant. Um, we're gonna head over here and babysit this thing for three hours and then uh, somebody else will take over. Yeah, so there's the hotel and the thing's over here. All right guys, this looks pretty good actually. You ready for this? I'm used to white queso. They've got yellow. So, authentic Mexican restaurant. We got all the goodies here that you can ask for. We can monitor our temperatures and our humidities. Our humidity uh, two through six is in the bag. So humidity, they want under 60. Temperature, obviously they're not too horribly worried about it. I mean, obviously they don't want above 80, but we're not gonna be anywhere near that. The units are both set at 62. Reheat's only on one of them. So let's eat and just sit here and wait and then boom, somebody else take over in three hours and We'll uh, get rolling tomorrow morning at 7.30. Unless something bad happens. All right, so I'm done. Uh, 11.13, heading over here to the castle. Going to uh, get cleaned up and start tomorrow. Another day, another dollar. All right, so it's, mo it's the morning time. It's 6.38, we're going down there to get some breakfast right now. Then we gotta hop on the RV and then we're gonna get moving again. We're in Louisiana and to head north eventually. What's up, man? How are you? Good, good. How are you? Not too bad. Looks like he got lots of sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. So we're stopping a lot earlier today. It's 613 and we are here. Uh, over back behind me there is, well, behind all them trucks over there is the hotel. We got a decent room here, Holiday Inn Express. We're gonna go eat, so let's go see what's going on. Hi. I feel wore out. Five. 
five for oversized loads. And they're kind of... All right, that was a good steak for the most part. I mean, it had a lot of fat on it, but it was a different place to try out, which is kind of cool, and that's kind of the whole point of doing it. So we're heading back. I got to go to bed. It's already about 9. All right, it's 2.12 a.m., and uh, we have to um, do our turn. So it's Monday, 2.12. We're going to go out there and set in the trailer RV and uh, watch the thing for till five o'clock and then everybody else will be out there and then we'll leave. Are there? Already? I'll be back in to check out one before we leave. Okay. Yeah, we're in Tennessee. We'll face traffic here. So this is a little different than most of my videos. Not a lot of HVAC going on so far and really honestly, the hope is that there won't be. If I did my job right, like I've said before, crap's not gonna break. Now granted, the crap's getting shaken on a truck for 2,500 miles or more one direction, then 2,500 miles the other direction. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, getting her, getting her. Hell, that's a freaking semi right there. That thing runs loud. in there just creeping I'm a creeper all right so to keep myself busy and to be sure that it's actually running like it's supposed to let's go ahead and take this thing apart which I just did I wanted to make sure because you can feel here and that's warm so the reheat is one you know the reheat's working I think these thermostats really need to have the extra sensors hooked up so we have discharge temperature sensors in there i think discharge temperature sensor is just as important as some of the other ones right now obviously everything on this thing is completely dry freaking air conditioner has a little more crap ge junk i have never liked ge's everything's held on pretty good so far yippity 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 61% humidity in there, 65 outside, 67 on the temperature, set for 53, 58, we really have to push it hard down low. The thing that's killing us is the HEPA filter is actually up there at the top on the supply side. This filter that was at the back, I didn't realize it when I was working on it prior to hooking it up. That, that, that that's why things are going to be out of order that filter there um used to it used to be connection on the back uh and it kept it from going out there it's like a last resort if anything got into the system before it blew it onto the unit this one's not as big of a deal because none of the electronics are on it yet okay well just you and me it's 232 wasn't even or you know late so it'd be great if they had an alarm system set up um, I said something about it believe it or not what makes no sense is the budget for a lot of this is this big in some spots and for other spots it's that big which is goofy but we're doing great I mean 57 percent humidity and that's inside the box all right, well, unless something blows up, I'll uh, do it you guys later. All right, so my ship is just about over, 4.45. I'm picking these guys up in the hotel here. Yeah, there they are, somewhere. That's a little more what I'm used to. Not that desert shit. When I booked the wrong date, like this is like the second time on this trip, you think you're on the right month and you're not because they started off in November and you actually booked it for October and you got things confused. So I'm on hold we're here with Hilton. So we just stopped and see where we're at. 
We aren't going to make it all the way back tonight, but we will tomorrow. All right, so we're in Virginia, two hours away from Goddard. Not a bad looking room, pretty basic. Um, right there's our camper. All right, guys, so let's go over here and see what we can get for lunch, supper. I don't know. I've been up since 2 o'clock. Uh, 2, yeah, 2 o'clock, 2.15, 2 o'clock. I'm not tired. I had a monster, one of those white mint monsters, zero sugar. All right, little Chick-fil-A. Guys, so it's 2.15 in the morning, which is awesome. Got my bags packed and ready to bounce down to the little camper damper RV bear thing. So I'm really gonna miss getting up like this. It's really gonna be heartbreaking. My ears are just ringing. I mean, holy crap. I mean, it's it, they're pretty loud. We're hoping you're not forgetting nothing. As far as I know, I'm not. I'm here guys, really I'm not I'm not hiding. So. It worked good yesterday, let's try it again today. So, 7.55, and we are here, so, there you go. Well, we made it, destination done, so, uh, we'll see if we get some more footage on anything, but you've pretty much seen what you're going to see. Got to hop on a plane, fly back to two locations before we get back, but that's what the plan is. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. It uh, may not be real tech savvy, but it was uh, definitely what is involved with like a transport mission. Behind there, of course, is a huge plenum. Air goes through. This other side is the return plenum. You can actually walk in there, in between both ends of it. Where's the air uh, being pushed or pulled? Pushed, pushed from the HEPA filters out, and this wall oh, here screen. is actually perforated. You go through there, and then it goes up, and the air handling units are up on top with uh, the makeup air and the filtering and everything like that. So they are doing some outside air they with it. it. Yeah. That's a huge ass thermal back chamber. I'll walk you over there real quick. There's a uh, centrifuge right there. I don't know what that's inside right there. That looks like acoustics. Yeah. Now what in the world is that thing? Oh uh, yeah, the, it's called the SES. The so is that a vacuum? Is that doing vacuum or what is that? Yeah, they'll, they'll pull a vacuum on it, they'll blow nitrogen in there, they'll get it down to... Um, so this is actually about halfway up. It goes down. I'll show you a picture of it real quick. The lid of it comes off. That's what that photo was. And we're standing at about... Um, about halfway up. So we're standing at about this height right here. See these uh, shrouds and platforms in there? There's like yeah. an example of one. It'll go in, it'll, it'll mount like a big camera system to it. It'll rotate around. <coughs> Basically when they end up uh, getting down to cryo temperature, they'll pull a vacuum on it. They'll use the imaging system to check out different aspects of the flight hardware. What is that one? one? Propellant drum. There's another one over there. 
or I was saying the oxidizer and the hydrazine. Oh they, yeah. They have them in like a that's, cable -like that's drum. the propulsion that's that. system. Yeah. They have them like these special platforms, uh, stainless steel drum. They have those four clip ties. It's plastic. Can I show this drum. stuff? I don't want to get you in trouble. Can I show this or no? Yeah. yeah. You sure? Yeah. I don't, I don't think the um, the center view is open. These diving boards connect up to like one of those the Raymond forklifts. We bring them in the clean room. You'll actually have a guy that's hanging off of it. He'll he'll lay down on it. He's hard to stop. It allows us to get like amazing reach on the flight hardware. It's pretty cool. It's a big static test facility. Static doesn't, doesn't look like much, but basically you'll have like a bolt pattern on the bottom. Yeah. You'll bolt something down, and then you can pull on it from the top. Um, use like hydraulics or chain hoist stuff like that to pull on it to, way to test strength, strength test it okay yeah. area 151 <laughs> manufactured air gn2 a bottles like that okay so here we have these are all still just more clean rooms and uh, test areas i mean all these are just now what kind of people are working in these? Is just techs, scientists? Both. Uh, mostly, I mean, technicians are the ones that are actually assembling things. Scientists work in their office for the most part. What's that guy doing? For example, here. And that's actual flight hardware. They'll put the hardware on there, they'll slide it in. That's just another T back chamber we have. All the way down to baby size to that chamber. We got three really small ones. There's one that's like almost like handheld basically. Now what's this? this all your pace. This is what we're gonna be moving in November. What's plankton. Do? Plankton, aerosol, cloud, and ocean ecosystem. Oh I thought uh, you guys you already did that. that. <laughs> Didn't you already do it? I'm sure there's a new use for it in some way. Is this all the data that you're collecting? These are, yeah, these are all like um, electronic racks that are hooked up to it. They communicate with it. They all have a different function. Um, basically, KA band. <laughs> you have like these harnesses that go into it and hook right on to it. Use just extra cooling when you need it. Yeah, it's a little. That's actually paste in there. Smaller tea bag chamber. Wow. Everyone uses Snap on here. I noticed they they got an unlimited budget for that. It's funny looking as all get out. What's the end? What's on the like on the inside there? That's called the uh, DAC deployable arc arc. So where's our gizmo at? So the IC is actually buried basically above the gold part. It's mounted up above there. So there's going to be something else attached to that device that we brought. Yeah, the spacecraft bus that was sitting outside there. Yeah. The engineering unit is below it. That's what, it's that whole gold band there. Give you an idea of the scale, basically. Um, you can see the high gain antenna sticking out the back. Yeah. And some of the solar rays that are on the side that are deployed outward. Yeah. There's a model upstairs that you can we can look at and we can see inside and you can see where the IC is actually sitting. So are you guys gonna unwrap this thing? Uh, they're gonna unwrap it today. It, really? It, but, but that'll be gone by then probably. Yeah. That's a lot nicer really unit than what we had. But um, they have the same, like I'm, I was looking in here, it has the same Econet, um, Carol. Yeah. Controller on there. Yeah. All this tech came from that first unit that they started yeah, building. That's a lot nicer cool. interface there. Yeah. A lot nicer. All right, guys, that's going to finish the tour around NASA. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, they were going to unpack it in the clean room, and that just takes too much time for them to get everything ready for that. And by that time, I had already left uh, for my flight back. Once again, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you get the notifications turned on and hit that thumbs button on the way out. Till next time. Later.